This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Chris Jennings. And I'm Stephanie Chu. Stephanie, we've been hearing a lot of talk about Google Plus, but what is Google Plus exactly? In a sentence to sum it up, it's Google's social network to compete with Facebook. Right, and today we're going to be talking about the Android and future iOS apps, um, more specifically the iOS web, web mobile app. Um, Erica Joy from Google says that for my iPhone using friends, the Google Plus iPhone app has been submitted to the App Store sometime prior to today and is awaiting approval. Exactly. We sent out some invites to Google Plus the day it was announced. So thanks to everyone out there on Twitter and Facebook who paid it forward and sent them out so we can get as many AJ fans as possible right. on Google Plus. When we first got onto Google Plus, the first thing that Google did was you know, introduce us to Circles. So Circles is pretty much a way for you to you know, file your friends and family into the different groups so that you can share different pieces of information with them. But you know, it's not easy, right? Right, it's hard to decide which circle does this person go into. And when you're actually on the app, it's not always easy to just take a person and add them. There are a few different steps you have to do. It's a lot easier to do on the, on the website, a little right. bit different on the apps. Right, it's a little cumbersome, but when you get the hang of it, you know, you can go ahead and visit the stream. And the stream is essentially just, you know, it's what you're used to on Facebook. It's yeah. A, 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 big you know, amount of posts. This is really the heart of Google+. Plus. <laughs> yeah. It's where all the information comes at you, just coming at you in a stream. And you can stream by people who are nearby based on your GPS or certain circles or just everyone in general if you just want to get bombarded with all types of information. Right, and so you can read. Um, you can't edit, which is a great feature on the site. And you know, there's another feature that's I heard was really cool. What is it? Right, it's called Huddle. And those of you who have it on the Android app have been able to huddle, but apparently you can't on the iOS web app. No, I feel a little left out. And well, you know what? you're not missing out yeah. on too much. All Huddle really is is just a way for people to do a, a group chat, sort of a chat room. So you can add people and you all chat in one spot. Mm -hmm. And what about photos? Photos are great on the Android app as well. So you can take a photo and you can upload it directly from your Android device. And what's great is that it's integrated with Google Places, so you can pick the, the, the Google Place where you're actually at and mm -hmm. upload it to have that tag to it. And you can also you know, just load them up there and have them, everyone in your friend group know that you just uploaded from your phone. Nice. You know, I think that's going to be coming soon to the iOS app, but for now you can only view it on the, the mobile site. But anyway, um, and notifications are also pretty cool. Um, as soon as somebody comments on your photo or leaves a message, uh, mentioning you, you know, a little notification uh, box pops up. Right. And it's just a simple swipe or tap to see. Yeah, it's really customizable whether you want to get sent an email every time someone does something. Or on Android, you're just swiping up from the bottom, just like you would swipe down from the top for normal, normal notifications. Right. So we're going to get into things that are not on iOS and things that we'd like to see after a word from our sponsor. Yeah, and today our sponsor is Netflix. And recently we discovered a documentary called Google Me. In this documentary, filmmaker Jim Clean learned more about himself and his place in the world after using Google to track down six other men named Jim Clean, including an Irish priest, a financial advisor, a wife-swapping swinger, and a New York cop. Right, so with more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet. Members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices streaming TV episodes and movies like Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. And as a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, for one low monthly price. There are no late fees, there are no due dates, and as a new member and an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. All right, back to Google Plus, Chris. Let's get back to it. Yeah, you know, we have our tablets out here, we have an iPad, we have the LG G Slate, and we want to just show that the interface on here is a little bit different when you're on the tablet. It's really just sort of a stretched out phone version, right? Yeah, you know, like the, on the iPad it just looks like a big, you know, big iPhone. Um, and it doesn't look bad. I actually think that it looks quite beautiful, especially on the iPhone mobile site, and it looks great. Like, yeah. they wrote that whole thing in HTML5s, and man, like, I just, I just think, uh, you know, I think it's better than Android really? app. Yeah, I mean, there are some 
tabs at the top of the Google mobile site that you don't see on, on the Android. It right. really integrates Google's other services well. So it's essentially all those in one app rather than on Android, you have all these different mm -hmm. apps. Yeah, that I seems useful. Yeah, I hope it translates over to the app that they submitted, but we'll see. Um, however, you know, we don't have Hangouts, there's no video chatting, there's no, no photo posting from iOS devices. You oh, can only view them. That's a bummer. Yeah, it's, you know, it's too bad. And, you know, there's no huddle, which we talked about earlier, right. and, uh, you know, we can't open, uh, open from desktop or your phone your invites. So, anyway. Oh, lastly, huh, posting, which is yeah. the, the heart of it. You this can't... is something that we saw on Android as well. There's not, like, a universal post button on every, every section that you're at. So you have to, like, go into the post field yeah, to do it. Yeah, you can only do it from your stream, which is, is just kind of silly. I'd like to see that on, on every, every screen. Yeah. So, you know, something that we're looking for in the native iOS app is integration, uh, looking at other Google services. I really hope that we can have some photo uploads from the camera or a library because, you know, you know, the device is powerful. It has a camera. Why not? Yeah, no, absolutely. I've been dying to get that on the Android tablet. It would be great to have some video chat with the mm -hmm. Hangouts, and being able to use the dual cameras on these. You know, despite that, though, especially for the Android, it's a, it's a total download for me because it's out there right now. Right. You can download it. For iOS, maybe it'll be a will download? I will I will download it as soon as they let me. <laughs> yeah, which hopefully yeah. will be soon. But you know, what do you guys think about Google Plus? I and mean, we know a lot of you got invites, so let us know what you think about it. You can email us at appjudgment at revision 3 Com, or you can visit us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and always on revision3.com slash appjudgment for past episodes. Bye. Take care.